Hi, I'm State Representative Tana Sen. I'm talking to you from the House floor today after a very busy week in Olympia. We've been passing lots of bills off the House floor, including the Oil Transportation Safety Act, the Toxic Free Kids and Family Act, and so many others. I want to tell you a little bit about a piece of legislation that probably won't make the headlines. And I've also gotten so many emails from constituents about this. It's about HB 1813, which will expand access for computer science programs. I've been so proud to sponsor this bill from the outset. 50% of the jobs across our state are computer science or technology related. And the most common job description is software developer. Some of the people who wrote to me pointed out quite correctly that few women and minority students graduate from computer science programs. HB 1813 will expand access to computer science programs by funding professional development, making sure that schools have greater access to technology for computer science, and will hopefully inspire more kids to go into the field of computer science and build their skills. Another issue I feel passionate about, both personally and I think is important for our state, is paid sick leave. It was exciting as it passed off the House floor just earlier this week, and I was so proud to give comments in favor of the bill as well. Take a moment, if you will, to watch my remarks on the floor. What you might not know about me is that I am one of those members of the sandwich generation. And two years ago, my mom passed away. It is, it was so hard. But I have no regrets about the last year of her life, because I was able to be there with her to rub her aching limbs, to check to make sure her medical dose was correct, to hold her hand when she was scared. What I do regret is that we didn't pass paid sick leave sooner than we have to, than we're talking about it today. The patient in the room next to my mom was alone almost every day of the week, except for Sunday, when her six family members would come visit her when they had time off. So that parent, that grandparent, only had their body and their soul rocked, held, and protected one day a week on their day off. Mr. Speaker, as all our parents age, the ones who have led us, guided us, taught us, loved us, been there for us, we need to be able to be there for them. Let's be sure that all Washingtonians have access to paid sick leave so they don't have to choose between putting milk on the table for their kids or being there, planting that kiss on their parents' forehead in their dying hours. Mr. Speaker, let's have no regrets. Thanks for taking a few minutes to catch up on what's been going on in Olympia. I want to invite you to stay tuned for a longer video next week on what has been happening so far here, and also to join me on March 14th at our town hall meeting back in district. Lastly, I want to thank everybody who has written in, whether it was about HB 1813 and computer science programs or so many other issues. And I want to encourage you to please share your views with me. It really does make a difference. Thanks so much.